and then control it. We're at Westmeads in Barnsley, uh, which is sheltered accommodation through South Yorkshire Housing Association. We recognise there are big parts of our audience that have a relationship with music but can't necessarily come to a concert hall anymore because of age or disability. And so we're always looking for ways to take music into those settings um, so that it can be as enriching at later stages of life as it is in the Crucible studio or in one of our family concerts or schools work or anywhere else. There's a very wide range of residents, but it's a wonderful community. Everybody looks after each other. Um, and coming in here and playing music, you, get, you really get that sense of community. But I feel that we've been coming along enough now that everybody's very comfortable with us. We're comfortable with everybody else. And, and, uh, and we just have a good laugh, apart from anything else. We've partnered with Age Better, who work uh, with older people in Sheffield and South Yorkshire in all sorts of contexts and they're always looking for ways to uh, to help people do what it says on their tin to age better for it not to be a slow decline for it to be a time that is rich and full of new experiences and so we will keep working with them uh, I hope we bring a certain level of kind of musical understanding and expertise to it they really do know these communities so well and I think that's the combination that makes this a really rich project. These sessions are a really good way for people here to socialise with each other and to get to know each other. But we're quite familiar with the faces here and they know us. They have a lot to give. They're a really sociable lot that we've got here. They love to come downstairs and join in with everything. They make friends. It's, it's brilliant for them, yeah. I mean, I've seen them all through COVID, I've seen what it did to them, and it's so nice now that they can, they're back to this, integrating, mixing with each other, and it's lovely, it is, it's lovely. When we came here for the first time, it was the first time that anybody had re-congregated in this atrium, and it was really extraordinary, actually. It, was a, it, it felt like a, a real moment. We'd been through a bad time here in Westmead, and so we welcome people like this group coming in. We enjoy our company, we get together and yeah. then we all join in, so it's good. Because it takes your mind off other things. All that goes when they start playing, it's lovely. Oh, I think they're brilliant. And I think also they help with your mind, remembering the words. It just gives me confidence and I enjoy it. Oh, music's fantastic. It's all right. Lovely. Even though we can't sing, we can sing with them. <laughs> They've got to know these people slowly and carefully. They've um, tried out a whole variety of music from core chamber rep through to their own versions of Elvis songs, 60s, 70s music and beyond. They've been uh, writing lyrics, getting memories, getting reflections on this place, writing songs that reflect that. Um, and it's just so lovely to see, see work so fully in the round as that, that it's not just them coming and performing, but it's them working with these residents as performers. When I'm uh, in Ensemble 360 as part of Music in the Round, we're performing and we're doing wonderful concerts, but actually you can bring joy in through music in many different ways. And so coming in and making music with people, it's just a different kind of joy, really. We're in the process of writing another song. Our first song was inspired by Joyce, who just said, well, we're a right-friendly lot at Westmeads, and that was, our, that was the, the, the line for our song. It's interesting to kind of get a slice of their lives here and also hear more about the lives that they have lived before they've come here. It was really cool listening to Joan talking about brass bands and just thinking that's not a culture that I am that familiar with, so I'm learning from her and from other people here. They're all engrossed, telling their own stories, they're so relaxed to each other. It's, uh, it's brilliant, it's really good. Music can, can trigger lots and lots of happy memories. It's just a wonderful language um, in the moment, so if you're singing together, you know you're all here, you're all friends, you're all doing the same thing. So it's a mixture of, of memories and absolutely here and now feeling that everybody's with you and loves you. Yeah. I like the combination of instruments, combination. 
and you can do anything with those four instruments. Nothing complicated. But I think that's a lot of attraction. There's nothing that they come out with or perform that we don't understand. It gives us chance as, as a group like this to remember the songs that we all knew when we were younger. You reminisce and it takes you back, you know, and, and you, feel, you feel as if you're worth something. One gentleman here whose um, dementia has just come on on set really quickly and they have walked past and seen him actually using the instruments, joining in. When I've taken him back upstairs, he's still smiling. He's gone back into his room happy. So that's brilliant. There are all sorts of reasons why music can be particularly helpful here in terms of um, fine motor control, in terms of memory, in terms of connection for people who even in a setting like this can become quite isolated. There's all sorts of social benefits as well and um, yeah, music's just a great way to explore those. They look forward to us coming in and uh, we love it, we absolutely love it. It's such a, it's just so rewarding really. Oh, it's uplifting, isn't it? Keeps you going. I've, I've enjoyed it today, yeah. Larking about in front of us, yeah. It was great. This has been fantastic, I love it. We like them, we've got used to them, and we don't want to let them go. It's just a pity they can't stay any longer.